Hello folks, I'm back. Uh, I had a chance to go get a workout in <clears throat> and uh, something I recommend for everybody. Uh, even when you get older, and I'm 77 years old, uh, I had a, 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 well he's a trainer at the place where I work out. <clears throat> And uh, he asked me, he said, what, what are your goals? Um, you're here every day. And I said, well, uh, I'm beyond the age where I, I want to have a, uh, a, a body that uh, you see in magazines. That's just not going to happen. But I, I want to live in my home for the rest of my life. And I want to be able to take care of myself and my wife. And in order for, for me to do that, I have to have uh, upper and lower body strength. So I walk four miles every day, seven days a week. I do that on a treadmill. I found I can't do that at home. Um, during the pandemic, it was a struggle for me to leave the house and walk four miles a day. I made myself do it, but it wasn't easy for me, but it's not nearly the problem when I head to the gym. I take my iPad, I watch uh, YouTube videos, Netflix, and uh, while I walk my four miles. I try to do that. I try to do that at uh, a pace of uh, four miles an hour, which is a pretty good clip for my short legs. But uh, it usually takes me about an hour and five to 10 minutes to, to walk the four miles. And then every three days I lift weights. <clears throat> and I do that so that in my older years I'll be able to take care of myself and my wife. And then there is also a uh, another reason. I want to be able to lift my uh, mounts on top of my peers when I take them off and work on them. Uh, I don't want to have to call my son to come over and help me. And I just want to be independent. So if you're... Uh, I don't know why I got off on this and preaching. I think it's because I just came back from a, a good, hard uh, three-hour workout. And uh, so makes me feel better. At any rate, we're working on uh, my workflow with Pix Insight, And uh, I'm going to take you over to uh, that, uh, uh, share my screen and take you over to Pix Insight. I'm going to have to pull it up. And... I'm not operating on a new iMac. It's uh, about four years old, and uh, it has uh, uh, had a few years on it. Uh, I'm going to load my project. It's probably going to take me back to the last one I worked on. It is. It's 7822, so let's load the project. Okay, uh, it takes... Uh, few seconds so I put it on pause while it loaded so you wouldn't have to uh, sit through that and this is where we left off <clears throat> we ran the dynamic background extraction tool using uh, this uh, edges uh, feature where we just placed our reference boxes around the uh, edges of the uh, image and uh, now we're going to do some smoothing some noise reduction and we're going to use the multi multi scale linear transform tool and uh, I save this process and I save the settings because I use these exact settings uh, with each image I have never varied it nor have I seen an a, a, a time when I needed to uh, vary it. But to uh, find that process, go to processes, all processes, and then just go down to the multi scale linear transform and uh, enable that. <coughs> and then I would, uh, I'll open up. <coughs> I will open this up for you. You might want to take a screenshot and uh, copy these settings. 
but uh, you want to leave linear interpretation and you'll adjust your uh, noise and your uh, click on each scale and adjust uh, your settings for example if you click on this scale um, you'll see that uh, the noise reduction is 55 that's the very first uh, and then uh, When you uh, click on the second one, you'll see noise reductions 35, and then it's 25. So make your adjustments uh, to these settings. We have linear ma mast checked. Uh, I don't check K, uh, K sigma noise threshold. Uh, we do. Uh, select the de-ringing and actually I'm going to unselect that uh, when I do this run it the very first time and I'll probably leave it that way you want to select preview mask and then create a preview window uh, also you want to unstretch your image And so what you're going to have is uh, an inverted image uh, of your mask as it's applied. And you want to adjust your amplification. I'm going to increase a little bit to increase a little more of the nebula. And I like that. And so with that being said, I'm going to Go ahead and uncheck linear mask. Okay, we can go ahead and delete the mask. We can run our histogram transformation. And now let's drag the process over and apply it. Okay, it's finished applying it. Let's zoom in. And it's had a, it's done a nice job of smoothing out uh, the background while leaving my stars alone because it did create uh, a star mask with 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 the uh, uh, preview mask that we created. It helped to protect some of the nebula because I do want some of the detail in the nebula. So, job well done, MLT. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the name of my file and add MLT that uh, lets me, reminds me that this is what I've done so far. I'm going to drag this to the top, this will be our, to the side, this will be my new working image. And then I'm going to close this out, we don't need it, and I'm going to move this over which is my workflow so far. So I have so far, uh, I've combined the images using John Rista's Hubble palette and a, pix in a pixel math uh, formula. Then we did a dynamic crop. We applied a dynamic background extraction and now we've ran a, a smoothing algorithm, a noise reduction algorithm. And so uh, next we are going to uh, uh, run deconvolution, but uh, in order for us to do that, we're going to first extract an illuminance, la illuminance layer because we only run deconvolution on the luminance layer. And uh, we're going to go ahead and head up here and click on this icon right here. And this will remind me when we come back that we're going to uh, create deconvolute this uh, luminance layer. We're going to give it a name, luminance layer, L-U-M.
Uh, and so uh, let's save this project and I will see you back when we will uh, run a uh, deconvolution process on this luminance layer and then we're going to uh, prepare this luminance layer to be added back to the uh, uh, Hubble palette uh, combined image and when we're close to the uh, pro uh, finished processing uh, this. So let's go ahead and save the project and I will catch you guys later when we uh, go to uh, process deconvolution. Have a nice day. I hope you say something uh, good to another uh, to another folk. Uh, tell them you appreciate them, and uh, they're going to uh, like you for it, and you're going to like yourself for having done so.